This is Martin Carlisle with Shellcode from Pico CTF 2018. This program executes any input you give it. Can you get a shell? You can find the program here. And we once again get the source code. So it's going to read a string from the keyboard again. And then it's going to hear what it's saying is, I am going to take that buffer and I'm going to just execute what's in it as if it were code. So it converts this buff to a function pointer, calls that function. So whatever we type in, it will try to interpret as code and then run. And we might be able to find some good shell code online. So I'm going to look for Linux 86 shell code. Here's 23 bytes of shell code. So first, I'll cd to this folder. OK, so now I have my Vuln program. And I want to execute this shell code. So I'm going to put that in a file on the machine here. The tilde will mean my root directory. Here's my shell code. And I'm going to convert this to a Python script that prints it as well. So just say print that. Okay, so that prints that. I now need to put that into a file. So now I've taken the results of that program, which had the shell code written in a format with the slash x, indicating those were hexadecimal characters. And I now have that in to another file, which I can send to the program. So if I just say cat binary shell code. So it looks like I have my string. It executes it, but it returns me the, the command prompt. And the reason it does that is because it's run the shell, but there's no more input. So I can't type any commands. So what I'll do instead now is I'll do that cat again. I'm going to add a dash. What that dash says is, after you've submitted the binary shell code, wait for more input from the keyboard. And so now you'll see that I can type ls. So I'm at a shell. There's no prompt. But it'll let me cat the flag. And now I can take this flag, and I can turn it in.